How you going? Welcome back to Joe's Garage. Well, today we can see I got a 90, no, it's a 79. It's a Johnson 2 horse right here. The, I mean, this motor probably weighs like 30 pounds. It's really small. But it ain't running. Customers uh, wants to want you to do a whole tune up on us. That's the one to do today. So, right now, I'm going to take the power out, the dry shaft. What's cool about this motor is no reverse. You just flip the motor around with the tiller. But this is real easy. I already put new gear oil in the little gear case right here. I'm going to take out these bolts, take out the dry shaft and all that, and put the new impeller in. Now, let's take a video and show you guys how that's done. Uh, where's the socket? Alright, if you can't see, there's two bolts right here. Let me adjust that. Right there. The bolt here and the bolt there. Take it out. Oh, uh, where's my park shirt? That's aluminum. And so take these two bolts out of here. And everything, yeah, it should just all slide right out. Never worked on a two horsepower. I usually work on, you know, the ten horsepowers. I, I work up to fifty horsepowers, but very rarely ever get a little small one like this. So, take this out. It should slide right out. Now, if it don't, uh, yeah, like that. That's how it's done. My God, that's a steel dry shaft. The seals on this motor ain't um, bad. I already tested the bottom end. Look how small this thing is. Dude, the thing weighs like not even 5 pounds. Like well, my 18 over here, the thing weighs like 30. Well, that also has four reverse and all that good stuff in there. Shot those. Alright, let's take this Not right here. This is the bottom end of it. Don't adjust this. Come on. There's more on it. Right here's the bottom end. Right here's the impeller. So I guess I'm gonna take the bolts out. What's left? The bolts. Oh my God. Oh, that's a Phillips. Well, I guess I'm gonna take those out. Those are all rusted. And take the impeller out. I gotta order impeller, but due to the you know the what going around right now, that virus thing, Jay. The issue is, where the hell am I going? Um, the West Marines where I order most of my parts at. What the issue is the place is um, they're delaying all their orders. That's kind of stupid. They're delaying all their orders, so it's going to take like three weeks just to get my impeller in the carburetor kit. It's ridiculous. Everybody's freaking out about this thing. Yeah, it's a big deal. But, I don't know. It's kind of like the point where you kind of, like, go on if you like, but yet you don't want to get it. Jesus. Oh, shit. Danny sees on these. Oh, that's slipping out. Shit, I'm about to... I'm gonna have to give me a, one of those easy out things to put on there. I don't have one small enough. But yeah, I'm not really sure about this coronavirus because they say it's a very harmful, but I'm not really sure about all that. Let's go bits go. The inside of the screwdriver is like it's concrete, it's weird. I need one of slide hammers. That's an investment you get into. So put it in there, you slide it, and you turn it. Nope. Oh, shit. 
You know what? This is my last resort. This doesn't work. I'd use an easy out on it. Easy out or a hammer and a screwdriver. You know, hit it like that. I was buying a new screw. This actually happens. Yeah, there. Yeah, it comes right out. Oh, shit. Yeah, it comes right out now. Just needed some a little bit of some aggression on it. Yeah, I'm gonna put some grease in the seal. You know, you just gotta grease up the engine, new spark plugs, change the fuel line if it needs it. This motor actually has to do a fuel line on it. I thought you can just tell it's a really new stuff. I'm just gonna leave it. Actually, just gonna slide off like that. Let me get my parts tray again. So yeah, camera still recording. That's gotta put. Oh, some power doesn't look that bad. Dude, do not slide a dry shaft out. You have a hell of a time putting that back in. Just sand this off. Rust off so I don't ruin my new one. Never mind, this power is very bad. Make sure you do not see this little key. This little key right here. Do not lose these things. They're like three dollars for one of these things. Like Jesus. Always make sure to keep those. Not lose them. Yeah, you can tell this impeller is bad. I need a new one. See how stiff it is? It's really stiff. Look, even broke off right here's the other piece. Yeah, I need to order a new one of these. So I gotta order a new one of those, and that's about it. So this will be part one of, I don't know, what can we name this video? Evan, no, it's a Johnson. Johnson Seahorse 2 Horsepower Part 1. And power Exchange, something like that. Well, I'll figure it out. So that's how you gotta do it. That turns real nice now. I'll pop that down. Right, I guess I'm going to order a new impeller and I'll probably do a carburetor next and a compression test. Make sure that's all good because I couldn't get it started but it seems like I had good compression. But I just got to take off the top of it, the cowling and the fuel tank. So that would be another video. So yeah, I'm going to start working on this motor. So I guess I'll see you in part two of the video. Everybody have a nice day. Stop the camera.